Hey, so let's talk about how to import assets inside of Kinetic Text Animator. So you're going to want to do that over here on the right. There's an import button here. So click on that. Now I'm talking about importing individual files, not import uh, library collections. That's in a separate video. But I can click on this and I can click any kind of file type that, you know, that we import. We can, for uh, video, it's going to be MP4 files. For uh, graph static images or backgrounds, it's going to be JPEG or PNG. And or PNG, and then for audio, you're going to be able to do WAV or MP3 files. So I'm looking at MP4 files here. Let's go ahead and just select one of these, and we'll run into an issue right here. And what we're going to, we're going to see is that it's not fitting the stage. And that is uh, one thing that you know, at least in the first version of Kinetic Text Animator, if you've got the setting set to something like 800 by 600, you need to size your videos before you import them. So you can do that in free programs like um, a, a Shotcut, which is shot at shotcut.org, for example. Uh, just if you have stock footage, then go, go ahead and size it in the right size. Got, we've got an odd size here at 800 by 600. Uh, so you're generally going to be 1280 by 720 or 920 by 1080. Um, if you're you know using stock, those are the a couple of the common sizes. So um, if you go ahead and set your stage that size, then you're probably going to save yourself a little grief. So, but right here, this isn't going to fit. Um, we, we, you know, we don't, don't really have the option of doing your own uh, kind of stuff there. So, um, uh, your sizing and, and whatnot. Um, so, I can also import um, JPEG images the same way and audio. I'm going to show you here the other way though. Here, I've got some audio, some images imported. I had already done that with groups. And so I can uh, do that. Um, I can go into any one of those and drag it onto the stage. And that's going to show up automatically in the background option. Notice that it, sh it, it put it right where my playback head is, but I can still move it around. And um, <clears throat> so that's how you can get those in. Now you can also do the same kind of import that I just showed you for uh, the for you know static JPEGs or uh, PNG files. Um, and then let's go ahead and get rid of this video since it's not the right size. It doesn't look very good. And then the other thing for the audio is we have two channels here. So if I'm going to import audio, uh, I can click over here to the right on there and it will select the, the channel that I might want it to go into. It's going to default to the, the top one if I don't select one. So I can come in here and just import them. Same kind of thing I just did. Let me go to... Let's see, I've, I think I got it in some download folders. I downloaded a couple of sa sound effects or something. Here we go down here. And I can just uh, import the MP. I've got a WAV file. WAV file is a little bit better because the WAV form looks a little bit better. And I can move that around and all that kind of stuff. So I can put, if I, if I had this uh, selected down here, it would have gone into that uh, layer. Um, and so it's going to automatically go into the right folder, uh, right layers uh, for you. So, um, and so if you see the audio goes in the audio layer, I can adjust the volume here or in the settings with this and um, so forth. So that pretty much uh, it covers how you import assets inside of Kinetic Text Animator.